for this for this episode, our dear listeners, there's a Spotify version, but I would suggest people to watch the YouTube version because I have a new shirt. And also because I will put a lot of pictures in your in the screen because this is a photography episode and I'm so excited with our guest today. We've never really interacted much online, so I'm kind of nervous, but I think he's someone you guys will also be interested in hearing from, as well as I do. He takes pictures of Filipinos shown in their own spaces in their livelihoods, their struggles are shown. But I think what I noticed is that there's always integrity in the way he would portray his subjects. Like, it's not, I don't see it as poverty or trauma porn. And that's something I'm careful about when I'm looking at art of about Filipinos. I think his subjects are always respected And that's something I just love. His works are very people-centric also. And then he also does portraits, fashion, photography, commercial stuff, which I browsed for like an hour. But I really want to focus on the photojournalism aspect personally. He also won like an award recently. And he has cats and dogs, which is amazing. Let's welcome JL Javier. Please introduce yourself. Hello. Hi, Shin. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Um, again, that, those are, that's the cat. Okay, um, I'm Jelavier. I, am, I'm, I take pictures. Uh, <laughs> I'm 26 years old right now. Oh, I don't know. But I, right now, I do freelance work. And I, am also, I also shoot part-time for um, CNN Philippines Life. I graduated... Um, 2015 from uh, Ateneo, Bachelor in Fine Arts degree, majoring in Information Design. Um, tell <laughs> us about the, the congratulatory experiences you've had recently. What was that? So for last, when was that? Uh, September or a few months ago, I apparently I won an award for a photo that I submitted to the International Photo Awards 2021 um, under the the new normal category. I got the award for the category that I submitted to. Wow, yeah, congrats to that. Okay, wait, Lang, I'm so shocked about the year 26. Yeah, why? why? <laughs> I yeah, that's so young. What the fuck? 26? When I was your age, I was 26 too. But I mean, like <laughs> no, but like Toto. the reason <laughs> the reason why is because in your pictures there's so much like edge of in a way maturity in it. But now that you tell me your age, parang I it makes sense seeing your work na. This is someone with a very modern contemporary view of things. No, that's I feel like if I look back at your pictures now, I will see them better. Knowing that you're so much younger than me, cool. I try to be in general, not just sa photos, ko parang more mature, or I try to be to to seem more whole than I think I am. I was also. What do you think of what I said to you, Kanina, about your works and your style in depicting? Re, quote unquote real situations in the country. Super lovely to hear that that my images come across to you that way. Na parang um kasi sa on my end parang what what you what you articulated as care or parang as dignity. It's really on my end. It's it's fear. <laughs> it's genuine fear of um, misrepresenting the situations or the people that I photograph. Mm-hmm. So parang tinatry ko maging as straightforward or mm-hmm. as as oh, as honest as I can be about the stories that that they reveal to me. Actually, ayun nga. I want to talk about that more because I think when we think of 
pictures of Filipinos, taking pictures of people in Manila or in Quiapo or wherever, there's always this wariness of how the subjects will be portrayed na. I feel like there's an easy tendency na, oh, people on the street, let's take a picture of them. Oh, kawawa naman sila, di ba na? These are the kids na nang lilimu sila. Oh, let's take a picture in black and white that they're smiling. You know, there's always, to me, I'm so sensitive to how we depict parang these people na they're obviously less wealthy or less affluent in life. And ayun nga yung, when I was looking at your work, that's the part na I was being observant of na, hmm, paano niya kinukwento yung kwento of these people? And you talked about honesty and merong essayist photographer, I don't know if you know Tejo Cole, sabi niya, um, we think photography is the truth. We think photography is, ayan yung totoong nangyayari, pinicturean mo siya, totoo siya. But the thing is, sabi niya, There's a lot of new ones then in photography na hindi ito kasing super directly honest kasi it's still a matter of how you frame the subject. It's still a matter of anong scene in particular yung kukuhaan mo, di ba? So hindi siya totoong um hindi siya totoong objective lang. Can you share your thoughts on that and how you frame your subjects, talking particularly about frontliners, about Manila in quarantine, the photojournalistic stuff. Ayun, parang, um, I guess it's super precisely the, the, the quote that you said, or parang along those lines, na over the past few years that I've been photographing, I've been sort of so careful about the my own Parang the way extent that I impose my own stories onto an image. Does that make sense? Na parang kasi, pas, kasi parang nagigets ko na hindi lang naman, hindi talaga totoo ever yung picture. Hindi siya totoo kasi merong totoo. Ito lang yung picture ko nung totoo. Itong part lang nung katotohanan yung pinipicturean ko. It's literally a second of the thing, right? Yeah. So, so paano mo siya ina-attake given that? So yun parang I I guess it's really just it's really just the I have to pay extra attention or extra care give extra care to how I'm approaching a story especially given for example parang photographing people who are oppressed or or in the margins alam mo yun parang okay lang ba na, parang okay lang ba na ako yung nag Mm. Ako yung nagkukwento nito. Alam mo, parang lagi ko yung iniisip na bakit ako yung nagkukwento nito? Kasi I'm I'm a privileged um cis has cis um cis male. Alam mo yun, parang there's so much there's so much power imbalance there to begin with. So I as much as possible, I I guess that's why I'm realizing now na more often than not, I sort of let the photos be a space for the subjects instead of myself. Although, mm. with the constant awareness na it's also a space na I'm deciding, that I'm framing. It does make sense. And actually, it's my bullet din na I literally wrote here habang binabrowse yung portfolio mo. I literally wrote, who are you? Kasi <laughs> I was like thinking, sino ba to si JL Javier? I mean, in terms of in terms of ito ba ay, yun nga, it's this guy from Ateneo na pinapapunta sa talipapa or whatever, na parang ano yung, kasi there's a tendency na syempre ang mga may DL, ay mga may time magkwento ng struggle of those who are struggling or those who are not struggling as much. ba diba? Exactly, exactly. So parang I'm thinking then is na, kasi sa artist, meron talagang sense of freedom na I think sa photography. Ayun, ayun nga, parang ang ironic kasi nung, oh, black and white picture of a child laughing. Therefore, hmm. guilt-free ka na na, oh, masaya naman yung bata kahit wala siya, kahit nasa baka. Exactly. Diba? So, what are your internal dialogues regarding these things? Hindi ko siya malista as rules eh, Shin. Hmm. Parang, it's, ewan ko, parang, alam ko yung sinasabi mo eh. And, hmm. Alam ko na alam ko yung gusto kong ma-avoid when I'm doing those things when I'm when I'm shooting I I 
I hate photos that sort of commodify the experience yeah. of other people. Alam mo yun, itong picture na to, gusto ko, tayo to, as in, and mostly ikaw to, parang ganun. I remember the story that we did for CNN Philippines Life. Um, and we were interviewing relatives of victims to the drug war. And parang, parang mga, mga, mga asawa, mga, mga ina. Mm. And parang mga kapatid, ganun. And parang naalala ko na a lot of them didn't want their faces seen. Mm. So how do I take a portrait of a person na whose face I can't show, right? Mm-hmm. Tapos parang also, nandun yung, yung nandun na naman yung tanong na parang okay lang ba na ako yung nagpipicture sa mga, to sobrang layo ng, ng karanasan ko sa karanasan nila. I mean, I can only imagine, pero it's so, it's so far. It, I have to, I have to be real and admit na I will never understand it fully. So parang, at least nung shoot na yun, naalala ko na I would, I would, Before taking the portraits, I would ask, okay lang po ba talaga? Okay lang po ba na makuha na namin yung picture nyo? Kung hindi po okay lang rin. Tapos po kung ganito po yung gagawin ko, um, pwede ko itatago po yung mukha nyo against the light, ganun. Tapos when they, when they let me take their photos, afterwards I showed them na parang, eto po, okay lang po ba? Okay lang po ba ganito yung picture nyo? Alam mo yun, parang... I want the subject to be happy with the photo. Ayoko na, I don't want them to feel like the photo is mine, is completely mine. Pero it's also, it's a portrait of them, alam mo yun? It's, it's a space for them, like what I said. It's a space for them. It's a space for them to be, to be, to reveal themselves to me. Yeah, yun yung, that's, yun, like yun, only, that's like our only window to these people, no? Your distance between objective photography na ito yung colors, ito yung composition ng image versus your own sentimentalities as a person na syempre, oh, kawawa naman sila parang dapat bang picture na to and then also kasama pa yung reality of the situation. And I guess, kasi nga, the way you do it, you're in the field, it must be really hard to balance all those things in a way. Parang keyword just the distance and your balancing act, no, na ito yung magandang picture, kaso ito ba yung totoong nangyayari? And also, parang, ikaw rin, syempre, as a creator of the image, as a human being, meron ka rin nararamdaman of your own. Ano yung mga, just give me your stream of consciousness about these things. Sobrang ganda nung, nung term, sobrang precise nung term na ganyan mo, yung balancing act. Kasi ganun yung feeling, eh. Kasi sobrang, it's really, I, I'm not gonna lie, um, It's it's really difficult sometimes, and sometimes I ask, I wonder if I am cut out to be. Uh, I don't just ask; I actually super doubt if I'm cut out to be a, a, a photojournalist. Because ang hirap ang hirap ng separation na yun eh, mm-hmm. ng separate ng distance of asserting that distance. I remember yun. The, I think it was that same shoot. I had to. I was at the interview, and I had to actively tune out because I was gonna start crying. <laughs> Alam mo yun, yeah, na parang, I can imagine. Or I remember interviewing and photographing Hilda Narciso, who was a, a martial law survivor. Na ganun din, na parang I had to stop listening mm-hmm. nung interview kasi ang, ang hirap. Ang hirap, hirap, hirap. And siguro another example, parang not even sentimentality nung pinashoot sa akin si Bongbong Marcos. Alam mo yun? Like, I hate this person. Yeah. I hate this person. I hate what what he stands for, parang, I, but I had to photograph him. And I guess the way I, ex- I rationalized it to myself later, and siguro yun yung ganun ko siya, ganun siguro, ganun siguro yung ginagawa ko palagi, is na, yun nga, hindi ko to story. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko ito story. Yung photograph is not meant to tell my story, but the story of these people. Or, the story, the bigger story. Parang I have to lend my eye Mm-mm. to tell this story. Maybe that's what I'm here to do. And I think that self-doubt is very important, especially given din na, kasi there's a lot of photographers na, at least based on my impression, na the operation is from a point of view na, I'm taking picture of what's happening. Like, this is the photographer's job. Parang ganyan. I took these pictures. This is my story now. 
iba na may arrogance to it and even visual artists illustrators are more easily prey onto that parang mm-hmm. recently merong illustrator na i don't na under fire siya kasi gumawa siya ng work about teachers struggles tapos nung may teachers advocacy organization na nag-share sabi niya parang this is my art please do not repose ah. Siyempre, sabi ng iba, parang there's a, there's a debate na other people will say, art niya yun, therefore, he Pro- will property. Decide. But then other people will say na, pero yung subject niya ay struggle ng mga taong ito. So, hindi lang to art niya, parang ganun. So, I feel like your side is more on the latter, no? The way you see it. Dito nga rin sa book na to ni Tejo Cole, Um, meron din siyang sinabi na when you take pictures of poor kids smiling, ang comfort mo hindi dun sa kid, kundi sa mga people at home na comfortable telling them, oy okay lang pala na hindi ako mag-donate kasi masaya naman sila, masaya naman sila sa hirap. Which is a narrative that happens a lot. We all know it does. So ikaw ba, do you think of stuff like that? Or paano kung mukhang okay talaga sa picture? Like you took a photo shoot in a mental institution, no? mental health care institution. How did you operate on that level? Ano yung mga parang, let's say, mission vision mo when you were going there in your mind? Mission vision talaga. <laughs> I, I, good, good question and good, good shoot to talk about. Kasi I really, I love that. We went in there and then we were toured and then we, we of course, we talked to some of the, some of the people who, who, who worked there at the facility and we were able to interview um someone who who is paano, paano ba yung, parang is a, was or is a patient ba nung time na yun? Mm. parang dun sa facility and parang i guess for that specific shoot i i didn't want to siguro hindi sa sarili ko gusto ko ayoko rin i-affirm yung 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 images in my head of what an a mental institution yeah. would look like yeah. I guess I learned I learned through the shoot then these these people are still people although they are going through or parang they are they have conditions they have conditions yun. and parang that that are also true the diba? mm-hmm. we can, hindi naman, hindi, we can't lie about that yeah and we can't lie about um yung situation sa institution kasi I remember the story was um sort of an an uh, an examination of parang kung enough ba yung health care na binibigay mm-hmm. sa mental disorders or parang sa mga ganung may may yung mga facilities ba na ganun okay lang ba talaga sila so i guess i wanted to i really tried my best to show what was shown to me not in a way siguro parang merong mga i'm gonna not gonna I'm not gonna lie na merong may, mga visually indulgent What do you do sa ganong situations na, ay, ang ganda picture nito. And then, you also have this, parang, ayun nga, this objective na, I need to tell this not based on what I like to show, but on what needs to be shown. God, ang hirap. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Really, but... Kasi it's really, it has really been a struggle. Parang, really just, you know, it's, it's a balancing act. Eh. And parang ang hirap niyang, ang hirap niya rin i-quantify, ang hirap niya explain It's really a lot of care, putting a lot of care into am I, am I, and parang drawing the line, identifying the line or drawing it na parang are the people in my photos still people? Are the experiences in my photos still experiences? Or are they just pictures? <laughs> When I was browsing, I thought na these people are they're alive. They're not aesthetic shapes, you know? Because mm-hmm. it's easy for some photographers. I have s- yes, some yes. photography books na people are design. People are aesthetic, especially when you portray, kunyari, ayun nga, black people in Africa or whatever. It's easy for them to be used na for to show the skill of the photographer. And can I just say, I think that struggle that you're having, I'm not saying, oh, you're struggling, yay, but I want to say that it's important. I think artists should struggle more. No, that's just me. Huh? What I mean is artists should struggle not with, oh, what do I draw next? Or what do I, I, where's my inspiration? But I think 
the internal crisis you have, I think that's something important to have, especially with your like your job, no? Or anyone who will pretend, not pretend, sorry, anyone who will write for someone else. And I think it's important to struggle the way you do. I'm not saying buti na lang nahihirapan ka. But <laughs> I think your your difficulty and your guilt, guilt talaga, sorry, for lack of a better it, your it's, guilt. It's a, it's a very, it's, a, it's the most accurate term. It's an accurate term. It's, oh. I feel guilty sometimes to take photos of things. Mm-hmm. Anyway, go on. So you, take, you go there, you go to their lives, you take pictures, goodbye, and then you go home to your apartment where your biggest problem is your mattress with a concave center. <laughs> Do you wish you're someone who is more objective about these things? Alam mo, so, minsan ako, parang minsan... Kasi mas madali. Oo, kasi I, parang there are, I'm not gonna lie, there have been photographers na I noticed na parang So, grabe sobrang detached niyo as in kaya niyo yung oh, yung oh, you oh. can talk about you can talk about your subjects or Tapos the stories that you shot concern lang nila is the lighting or whatever or the composition yeah na parang sometimes I envy them kasi parang it's it's less of a struggle yet yeah, exactly and parang but I also I really do agree with what you said na we should the artists should struggle more. Maybe, maybe not struggle. But I mean, should be more critical. But I should, should be more introspective about the stories that they tell or parang how the place of the work that they put out. Because it's all that we're doing. Oh, oh. So it's part, we're part of a society, the ano, internet. We live in a society. <laughs> yeah, we live in a society. So, to quote Joker. Yeah. <laughs> sabi ni, ito yung quote kanina pa na hinahanap ko kanina pa. Sabi ni Brecht. The camera Batman is... Batman Rock? Joker. No. Ano ba yan? Okay na yung interview <laughs> eh. Sabi ni Bertolt Brecht, the camera is just as capable of lying as the typewriter. Sabi naman ni John Edwin Mason, manipulation in photography isn't really about Photoshop or darkroom tricks. Sorry, napaka-condescending na tanong, but do you think mm. your age comes with it then kaya ang dami mo pang doubts? Or growing up in Twitter woke culture na every, everything's being questioned? Um, I think both um, play a part. Although, alam mo yung growing up in 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 woke culture i don't i don't necessarily think it's a problem alam mo, it's nice that we're mm, mm. we're asking i feel like we're asking the right questions we're we're working towards that and na parang we're talking about the right things asking the right questions mm. um yep. and parang criticizing the 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 right things to criticize and um yeah sobrang laking factor no age i guess parang mas confident hindi ako hindi pa rin ako confident niyan pero I can be sure na I'm more confident now than I was even just a year ago more experiences or parang just being spent being on this earth longer will teach me more make me a better storyteller I think if you take pictures and you defend it by saying that's what's happening like I don't think that's true no I don't yeah I, it's not I I I never think that. But that's not what's happening. That's what's happening when when I t- when I take a picture. That's not what what, what happened. That's what happened to me. Alam mo yun? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Akin lang yun. Parang version ko yun nung nangyari. Nakrap ko na yun, na frame ko na yun. Pero hindi yun yung buong nangyari. Ah. <laughs> Did you have this vision from the start of what photography means to you, or is it something you learned? As you go along na, pagkakita mo ng picture, you realize na, oh my God, I'm a liar or something like that. It, uh, it took time. Sobrang, uh, I feel like I was always headed to this. I hope I was headed to this direction. Pero parang mas na-push ako or na-radicalize kung pwede natin gawin yung term na yun. Nung, when I started shooting more more photojournalist stories or more social and political stories. 
yung parang ano yung laman ng pictures ko? Ano yung sinasabi ng pictures ko? Mm-mm. I guess when you put to that, talagang napaka napaka cold-blooded mo na lang kung wala ka pa rin naging ano no, ay the internal chaos about it. Uh-huh. Pag nandun ka na sa events na yun. Yeah. Now I want to talk about the more technical aspects of it kasi you know, I told you I don't know anything about taking pictures. So like you take pictures for CNN. So can you tell me more about the life and experience behind the camera? Do you talk do you approach these people, "Hi, I'm working for CNN," or do you just, "Oh, photographer." <laughs> like <laughs> what is it like you go to the palengke, you go to mga inside the bus? Paano yung experience for you? Um well for for the more for the more recent work the more photojournalistic work of covering the pandemic uh ayun parang medyo hagis lang talaga siya to in my parang hinahagis ko lang sarili ko into into these places these, these situations and mahirap siya kasi as much as possible i want to be a fly on the wall i really want to be mm. i really just want to document what's going on parang um pero mahirap siya for me kasi malaki ako. <laughs> you take pictures in places na probably they're not used to photographers being there to a camera being there, di ba? So yes. yeah, can you just continue? Sorry, na excited. <laughs> um, well, I try to be as quiet as possible. Parang when I, whenever I, I pass on palengke, I try to move as stealthily as I can. Try to shoot as quietly as I can. Pero meron din moments sa parang, kunwari may, may na-picture ako before na na fishbowl vendor, tapos parang nakatinginan kami, tapos parang, kuya pa, picture na kita, parang ganun. May mga ganun moments Uh-oh. na, um, kuya pa, okay lang po ba, picture na kita, ganun. Tapos hindi ba parang, kunyari yung utaw pala, I mean, you're probably like such a foreign object there. So, oo, oo, oo. Kasi uh, sobrang nakakatawa. <laughs> siguro yung unang shots mo, conscious pa sila, no? Ah, oh, oh. I have to downplay myself or parang be, parang mostly I come into those places apologetic that I'm there. <laughs> Alam mo yun? Oh, oh. Kasi I really, I really don't want to disrupt, disrupt their, their, their day or whatever. Yeah, and it's like, and also like me kapag, kunyari, alam mo yung may event sa Escolta or kung expo sa art, <laughs> tapos may isang lalaking may photographer, everyone suddenly weird about it, di ba? Yeah, 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 yeah. Parang, sino ba to? I'm sure you feel that. I'm sure you, you're the receiver of that. Uh, <laughs> you feel that way. It's a mixed bag. Um, merong experiences na, um, ayun, medyo, medyo weird yung response sa akin ng mga tao. Med- minsan, merong mga, ayun, parang, oh, parang picture kuya, ganun. And then, meron din nga yung mga kina- parang nag- talagang nag-uusap kami na parang, pwede ko ba kayong picturean, ganun. Parang naalala ko yung Um, the one that I recently posted, yung sa, yung sa Baseco Beach na, kahit sa photos, so kasi nakatingin sila sa camera. Alam mo yun, parang oh, nandun, oh. Nand, nandun ako, kasi And nandun din ako sa picture. It's not like you can say, no, act natural, kasi yun, oh. it's not gonna happen. Oo. Oh, oh. Or kunyari yun, yung mga nagbabackflip na bata, parang kaya, nagbabackflip sila, picture, nagbabackflip sila, kasi nakita lang may camera ako, na parang, oh, kuya, oh. picture mo kami, so parang, <laughs> hindi ko naman alam gagawin na parang, ay, bakit oh, nag-backflip hindi ka Hindi naman pwede sabihin na parang, oh, no, 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 keep doing what you're doing. Like, hindi na yun babalik to that point. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh. Pero, yeah, parang, I guess, part yun nung fun of, of, ano, of seeing, of parang just seeing how I talk to, alam mo yun, parang, I guess, yung pictures, documentation din siya nung conversation ko with the place or with the experience. Na parang, okay, ayun yung, yun yung, yun yung product nun, nung presence ko sa place. There's a meta-ness to it, no? Na it's a picture uh, of people being taken a picture of. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Parang yung kanina natawa ako dun sa Dangwa set, merong mama na parang Chinese na nakapoint siya sa yata, parang ganon. Basta sa Dangwa na set? Yung sa flower store, parang ganun. Ah, okay, okay. Yung parang nakaganon siya, tapos, yeah. <laughs> Naka-point siya. Tapos parang, ewan ko kung parang mukha kang, mukha kang nire-reprimand niya or something. Oo. 
Tapos na, natawa ako parang sa gusto ko tanongin, like, do you remember anong nangyayari doon sa picture na yun? Naalala ko yung picture na sinabi mo, pero hindi ko maalala kung, kung may, may meron siyang out of frame na inaaway. Although that has happened, ah. that has happened na naka, <laughs> sa picture ko na, na parang, eto, etong ano, parang pinipicturan ako, parang ganun. Ah, may bata pala in, ano, it makes it more fun na it's this one, may bata pala or girl. Ayan, may kausap siya. Right, right, right. It's funny though, kasi I didn't think of it at first, so sa akin, ako yung pinapagalitan niya as the viewer. <laughs> it, ano, it moves, no? Parang ganun. It's so much fun. That's actually, <laughs> ayun nga, it's people, taking pictures of people who know, and let's not pretend that they don't, di ba? Parang, hmm. of course they do. Of course, may naiba na, kumbaga in the water, you already touched it. Kaya nga hindi truth ang photography, no? It's hmm. always a design of... Um, ang ganda ng word na yun. It's, it's a design of... It's a narration. Paano yun? Pag may people of authority, aren't they kind of iffy about it? Like mga soldiers or security guards or po- cops? Um, so far kasi yung strategy ko sa mga ganyan, madalas kasi pag nasita ako, nakapicture na ako. So parang ah, asagi po, alis ano, po ako. Apologize. Af- apology is easier than the permission. <laughs> parang nasisinta ako. Eh, nakakuha na ng pictures. So parang, as okay, okay po. Sige. To you, what are things you consider beautiful? <laughs> Ang, well, Kunyari, we're in Miss Universe. Uh, Dahil ba Miss Universe? Oh, <laughs> Dahil actually, Miss Universe I ka. this. I tell people na, okay, this is a pageant question. Top of my head, uh, sobrang gusto ko yung sounds ng ibon sa umaga dito sa may bahay namin. Kasi yung yung tunog or just yung sound ng yung tahimik tapos marinig mo na yung birds tsaka yung yung alam mo yung nag-rustle yung, leaf, yung leaves ng mga puno dahil sa hangin. Sobrang ganda nun sa akin. Sobrang precise niya na na image in my head. Tapos sobrang ganda niya. And parang I can see it in my head the way the Sunlight comes through the... <laughs> I love, I love na you're, we know you as a photographer. Pero when I ask you something beautiful, you refer to something auditory. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I just want to tell na ang favorite ko sa stories in your portfolio is yung, I guess, yung Manila North Cemetery. Aesthetically speaking, maraming magandang shot. Like yung crucifix and then there's the kid standing behind it and the angle is you're nasa baba and the kid is up by the sky. Is this during sem- parang it looks like during Semana Santa talaga no? Um, I remember I super love that shoot kasi I was with one of my favorite um, writers si Portia Ladrido siya yung um, cover ko siya before sa CNN Live. Yun yung isa sa mga favorite ko na stories ever na na-shoot ko na, that I worked with her with. Kasi sobrang happy ako sa photos. Tapos we really got to talk to... Kasi these aren't even visitors. Like these people are... People who live, live in... There. I yeah, get that impression. I'm happy... I'm happy with these photos. Kasi they're... At least to me, parang they're visually... Nandun lang talaga kami. Tapos... Ako din nagulat ako parang wow as in talagang very colorful naman yung mga mga <laughs> mga punto dito. Biglang may mga nagtatakbuhang mga bata. Sabi ko totoo ba mga multo ba yan or nakikita niyo rin ba yung mga batang yan? <laughs> so ayun parang tapos we met so many interesting people parang na ang, na ang genuinely interesting nung, di ba, a lot of them live in in the mausoleums. Parang we, get to, we got to talk to mm-hmm. what what life is like inside the, ano, inside the cemetery, the community there. Ang buhay kasi, ang buhay nung story for me. It, parang ang, ang lively niya. Buhay na, ang daming tao. Ang, <laughs> ang interesting, story. no? We're talking about the cemetery. So, puro buhay. <laughs> And your word is like, it's so alive. <laughs> yeah. Siguro kaya rin, kaya ko rin love yun. Sobrang... I noticed in your work kanina na there's a lot of you like capturing signages and texts and placards and caption. Mga writings by people. Like yung sa quarantine series mo, yung pinakabago sa stories mo sa portfolio. There's a lot of it na yung mga bawal pumasok, may lockdown, or dito ay pasok yung bayad. Wow, I, I didn't even realize that. Oh, ano? Basta itong quarantine wow. shit mo, 
ang dami niyang mga may words. And I, I wondered nga if artistic choice mo ba siya na naa-amuse ka with wordings? Like yung mga ganito na dito magbayad. It's so funny in a way na it's very Filipino to make up your own signs, di ba? Kasi nga napakapasaway natin sa culture. Lahat ng movement kailangan may instruction. Di ba ito may price tag dito? You didn't notice this? Hindi ko siya napansin, pero now I... Oo nga, no? As in very... It's oh. a common thread. Yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah. Oo yeah. <laughs> oh, nga, alam mo hindi kasi, totoo din na super... Super... Narealize ko to for a shoot before. Mm. Uh, during a shoot before na ang ang ingay nga ng vis- like sa streets ng 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 Pinas na ang mm. ingay visually kasi kinakausap ka ng lahat as in pati mga dingding mga, mga pader kinakausap ka wow. na parang bawal umihi dito sinisigawan ka ng mga pader alam mo oh, no, no. <laughs> so parang I guess yeah parang maybe I, I didn't realize it until you pointed out pero yeah parang siguro nga parang I gravitate with images that that have text kasi they speak for them. they they speak for themselves alam mo yun parang it, may attitude siya the way oh, it's written oh. parang yung bawal pumasok dito may lockdown may smiley siya sa dulo na parang why? what the fuck? why do you <laughs> may <laughs> diba? may may paandar parang may ganun may, sari, may personal flair oo oh, oh, nakakatawa I love fucking signages na handmade yung mga maling spell not even not even out of making fun of grammar which is parang of course these people didn't graduate so ayan yun yung grammar but the attitude in it na tulad nung may arrow yung nanalo ng award na dito ay pasok yung bayad bakit ang daming arrow na parang yung, kumukulan siya ng arrow down oh yung parang may really born siya out of like just, just this urgency to express what what they need. Alam mo yun, parang sobrang ganito, ganito yung gusto kong masabi. Kaya, kaya like, sasabihin ko kung paano ko siya naisip, ituturo ko kung paano mm-hmm. ko siya naisip. If you go around the country looking for the ways people write ice for sale or load smart globe, you will be fucking amused at the variation <laughs> and the typography, the fucking typography involved, Abby C could fucking never. Favorite ko yung sinabi mo na kinakausap ka ng buong syudad. Oh. Yes, that is true, no? Walang ano sa atin, walang, anong subtlety, subtlety? Parang, <laughs> walang ganon. I fucking, I fucking love that. Oh. I guess, pagdating sa fashion photography, commercial work, portraiture, I guess, dito mo mas napapasok your own aesthetics, no? Your own tastes. Paano nagiging different the way you enter a shoot versus when you go to the field to take pictures of an event or someone else's life? Mas, mas greedy ka na ba doon na, oh, ganito ka mag-post, ganito ka maupo? Um, I wouldn't say greedy, pero parang I take, I guess I... I indulge more. Parang ganun. Parang mm, sa, dun sa freedom na, okay, maybe this is something that's, that I, I can design more. Yun sa term mo nga before. Na this is something na I can sort of construct a bit more. Pero I think I realized then um, over the years na nag-shoot ako na yung approach ko talaga as a photographer is very, is documentary. Alam mo yun, parang I... I that I document the storytelling siya. So parang, I guess I approach even fashion stories or when I shoot portraits. Ako nyari, pag nag-shoot ako ng portraits for, I, I talk to the subjects and parang sometimes I shoot while I'm talking to the subjects to, mm-hmm. to, to get them at their, I don't want to say realist. Parang hindi siya super artificial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And parang, alam, yung minansyon mo kanina na, you know, when you know there's a photographer for the, you know, when, when there's a photographer there, everyone turns weird. Yeah. Yung, yung term ko sa ganun is nag on yung mga tao. Eh, kapag nag-shoot ka ng portraits, parang merong on eh. Merong oh, on yung mga tao. Me. Parang, okay, I have to... <laughs> ganun. So parang, parang sige, kunan natin itong naka-on mo. Pero gusto ko rin makita. Gusto parang, 
I would love it if you showed me yung naka-off ka or parang yung ikaw. Mm. Ay, ano yung extent na ipapakita mo ikaw dito? Ayoko din na mukhang alam mo yung mukhang mga bagay na lang yung mga tao hey, sa picture. Oh, they're dolls na Oo. put your hand um, here. Ganyan. Pag may fashion shoot ako, nag-gravitate pa rin. Pag pumipili na, nag-gravitate ako dun sa mga pictures na kasama yung nakikita mo yung stylist na inaayusan yung subject or parang alam mo yun, ewan ko. Sobrang ko. Sobrang ganda nung bench backstage na, you know, parang the way these models were, in a way, they're gods, pero they're gods being dressed up na the light is behind them. Sobrang ganda, ganda, ganda. Siguro coming, coming from yung youth niya, yung, yung you asked me how shooting fashion or shooting portraits is different for me than when shooting photo journey. Um, ang tagal din na hindi ko in-embrace kasi yung point of view ko, yun nga, yung parang approach ko na documentary or parang yung, yung I sort of come into um, shoots, whether it's a fashion shoot or a photojournalist shoot or like a, even a food, a food product shoot, ganun. I end up approaching them as a story to tell. Um, I guess what I want other people to hear kasi gust- gusto ko siyang I feel like I needed to hear this when I was younger na parang okay lang yun. Parang embrace mo yung embrace mo yung kung saan ka nang gagaling. Kung ano yung nadadala mo sa ano yung nakikita mo nadadala mo sa iba't ibang iba't ibang things na ginagawa mo. Not even just photography. Parang um, when you're an illustrator or writer alam mo yun. Parang ano yung ikaw? Parang wag mong don't run away from it. Iba kanina you mentioned that Parang you're trying to be, maybe you need to be more objective or when you're sad about the subject, maybe that's what makes, that's what will, would make your picture more valuable. Parang I think for the longest time, in terms of photography, we have this perception that the photographer is someone emotionless behind the camera who's like, oh, figure and shape and chiaroscuro. But maybe... This is the time for us to not pretend anymore na photographers are these images of iconoclasticism. Baka, if, maybe if you're taking a picture while you're fucking crying, maybe that's okay. Diba? Parang, you know, you get my point. I'm not saying be stupid about what you do. But maybe it's not wrong after all to feel bad while taking the picture. Maybe the guilt has to be part of it kasi nga, I feel like the age of artists being these mysterious gray figures is over. Maybe we need to, maybe there is this myth na artists, alam mo parang artists are very, I guess from how you put it, kind of apart from their work. Na parang, distant. Distant. Or parang yun yan, parang Detached. they're just, They, they just churn the Im- the images out the the work out alam mo yun parang part part pa rin sila ng work during the its creation and then after it's taken its life of its own yeah <laughs> now for our second to the last segment it's called recommend me shit where you just recommend me or the listeners any sort of activity any product online any exercise, any dance move, any food, just recommend a shit na could be worth our time. Oh my God. Grabe, may hinandaan na ako dito kanina eh. Uh, wait. Kaya, uh, all game. I recommend making playlists. I love making playlists. It's like, it's a, it's this nice exercise of, um, it's kind of like writing. I want the curation of, and parang yung, yung pag-sequence pa ng songs. Alam mo yun, to, to drive to a point. Or to just even story to, din, na okay, mag up siya dito. And then, oh, oh. Yeah, diba, diba? And parang just even yung connecting a song, bridging a song to another song with other songs. Diba, ang ganda yung exercise. Oh, kasi, I get what you mean. Yeah, that you can apply to yeah to other things that you make to just being a storyteller if you're an artist alam mo, I feel like it's a nice exercise yeah na how will this end how will you begin it as parang 
sometimes you even cut it internally into segments, di ba? Na ikaw lang yes. nakakaintindi na segment yun. What's the latest playlist you made? Ano tungkol sa anong ano mo? What is the thesis of the... What? Ang last kong, ah, yung... Itong, itong playlist na huli kong ginawa, it was last year pa to, and nag-start lang siya with... <laughs> with dreams ng the cranberries tsaka state of grace tapos um wake me ng bleacher so sabi ko ang ganda naman ng feelings ng songs na to and they sounded like they could be in a basta para naman, naman if you may, if you may playlist alam mo yun para ah pwede to magwo-work to in a playlist siya. Uh, final question what for you is good art and what is a bad artist like I, I guess good art is oh well, good art says something I I can't I'm here to explain it says something because I'm I, I feel like Marcos Parin then ah uh, yun actually yun yung good art <laughs> you know what I'm okay na <laughs> as the teaser of that I feel alam mo yung parang in this day and age kasi we're all I feel like we're all talking we're all hearing listening to each other talking over each other um and parang a lot of artists or parang just a lot of people fall into the trap of um to feel correct or to be correct or to feel right alam mo yun, yeah. is to they feel like they need to talk louder when in fact they have to think about what they're saying parang they have to speak smarter speak Um, something that's real or true to them. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess more or less. Bad artist, parang yung nagsasalita lang for the sake of of speaking. Yung naglalabas ng work, ng work for para magpatunog. Is, am I making yeah. sense? Yeah, it makes, I get what you mean. Yeah, but I think there also could be space for just shit. You know what I mean? For no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I guess what I'm saying is parang siguro to relate to yung sinabi ni Ching Bina, who, who is it for? Parang what is it for? What is it? What, what, what is it saying? Mm-mm. What is it good for? Parang meron din namang good for. It's good for you. It's good kasi it's expressing you. Alam mo yun. Pero parang merong art na just adds to the noise and kind of just says the same thing. Oh, I know what you Gets mean. Gets In terms of visual art, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of that na, oh, ito yung pinag-uusapan. So let me say this. You know, na wala oh. nang bagong sinabi yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yun, I guess that's what I'm saying. Na parang, ano si sabi ng work mo? sa Let's conversation. Yeah, oh, na, na na it doesn't even have to be about the conversation, pero totoo ba siya sa iyo? Totoo ba siya para may nadadagdag ba siya sa conversation na bago yeah, or parang na important? If not just to retweet stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. 'Di ba? I get to chimi lalo na ayan kasi nga, I think compared to photos, kasi ang photography may time span talaga. It has to sit for a while. 'Yan yung mahirap niya sa art na kasi it becomes this chime-in contest. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oy, may sinabi siya, may sinabi to. Ito yung sasabihin ko about it. Na minsan, parang hindi na naman siya inisip ng matagal or... Oh. But yeah, we're not, ano, to our listeners, we're not like telling you guys to always be political or always... Yeah, no, 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 no. But it's more, actually, kahit para sa sarili mo lang, ayoko nung art to me, J.R., pag nakita ko yung art sa internet na nakita ko ay ginawa niya to para sa parang ginawa niya to hindi hindi ni hindi niya to gusto himself or herself alam mo yon ginawa niya lang to para may ambag siya may maisaw saw siya sa conversation yes and that's what i don't like then yeah. na parang girl no girl it's not it <laughs> it's not the tea it's not the tea i feel like that kind of work Like, hindi lang sa visual art, eh. Alam mo yun, parang even in, not even, not just in illustration, in, maybe also in photography, in writing, in, um, even in, in fucking music. meetings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nangyayari din ba in photography yung mga ganyang pandering bullshit or mga papansi lang? I mean, yeah, in photography, it just manifests in a different way, I guess. Na parang, 
meron ding images that sort of just don't really say anything but Kaya, want to be part of the conversation. Siguro nung umpisa ng pandemic, ang daming, I don't know, face mask series or fucking mercury drug, no? <laughs> mga, mga fines in mercury drug. I guess that's a bad artist doesn't think about what they're saying. It's more on that they've said than what they said. Yeah.